Now, hopefully you're watching this video before you've wasted your money on a pair of crappy chainmail riveting pliers. This here was actually the replacement set that I got after I thought the first one was defective, but it turns out they're just all like this. Now I hear if you buy them from Iron Skin, they work really well, but they're 75 euros plus VAT plus international shipping. And I decided to just go down to Home Depot and make my own. So those there are nine inch linesman pliers. They've got plenty of leverage and a very tight hinge on them. That was one of the main issues with the, uh, the cheap tool you see on the left is that the hinge was very loose. Now here I've got a Dremel and some metal drilling bits and some other various bits I'm going to be using for this project. Here's the pliers I got. They were $17 at Home Depot. They feel nice and solid. <clears throat> no, no movement at all on that hinge, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the knurled, serrated part of the end of the plier and just use those flats there. You can see how close together they get. I'm going to use this uh, carving kit. I'm going to use those tools right there to carve a dimple into the face of the flat part of these linesman pliers. And here are my metal cutoff wheels that come with the Dremel that I'm going to be using to remove, uh, remove some of the material off the end of those pliers because you don't want a big blocky ends on your riveting tool. You kind of want it to come to a point so you can get into the weave of the mail. All right, this is my Dremel I have here. I got the cordless one because I don't want to deal with the cord hanging off the back of my tool the whole time I'm using it. I actually uh, only used one battery charge for this entire project. And obviously you're gonna want to use my protection <laughs> so that these sparks here don't shoot right into your eyes. Here I'm using the metal cutoff wheel and cutting off those knurled pieces because all I want is the flats and I want it to come to a slight point so I can really get into the mail. You can see how tightly it closes there. Now eventually I think I'm going to uh, take this to my grinding wheel, but not tonight. I just wanted the utility for now. So here you can see the metal carving bit and its size comparative to the rivets. I want to carve a little dimple on either side of those pliers that's just big enough. And this here is a metal punch. Its function is to actually punch a small dimple in the metal so you have somewhere to start. Otherwise your metal carving tool is just going to be chattering all over the face. You really want a nice little dimple to start in. And you can just bang it in a few times and you can see that started me off with a nice dimple. So I'm just carving away here. All right, let's see how well it works. I've lined them up as best as I could. You can see how straight that is compared to the <laughs> diagonal set that I had before. And the leverage. Leverage is awesome on these. You crush it into a little mushroom. There it is compared to the original size. And now let's try it on an actual link here. lovely. Here's a couple other pieces, little test pieces that I made, and uh, so far it's been coming out great every time. Well, I hope the video helped you. Let me know if you have any questions.